I hate that I will likely never do acid again. Yo what is up guys it's fried sushi here. In today's video I'm gonna be telling another trip report from reddit, this is number 8. Enjoy. My life was complete buns until I got curious and tried acid for the first time. Every trip got me thinking and made me realize I need to flip my life around. Then every trip started confronting each of my insecurities and I kept improving them. Eventually I started relying on acid for motivation and creativity and it felt like each trip was my brain just telling me to stop doing drugs. It had been about 6 months since my last trip but one of my favorite Swedish DJs was doing a show in a city where my sister lives so I flew down. I went to the club alone but acid always made me super social and lovable so I figured I'd fit right in, first mistake. I had the time of my life and made a lot of new friends. One guy was talking about how much he likes acid so I offered him a tab, second mistake. I figured giving it to him for free would give me significantly less trouble than selling it since it won't be considered dealing. Angie. Anyways I started talking to a hot girl and we were dancing together and the DJ's promoters came up to us for pictures. I took a few pics with her and then I invited that guy in too for a pic since we were becoming good friends, third mistake. By this point I'm having the time of my life. The acid is good, the DJ is killing it, I'm dancing and with a bunch of new friends. Then I met another gorgeous girl. We talked she said she was on coke so I told her I was on acid, fourth mistake, and we completely hit it off. Later she started introducing me to her friends and her co-workers. I didn't understand what she did but I think she was an event promoter I don't know. But here's what sparked the bad trip. Since I was dancing like crazy, had great energy, and was socializing with just about everyone, she asked me if I was interested in promoting. Well right then I looked past her and saw in the corner some kids on Molly watching some glovers but barricading them in the corner was a wall of mean looking guys with death shirts and they gave me a nasty look. Looking back at it I think I just hallucinated that cause I was tripping nuts, but at the time I was terrified. I thought they were robbing them and making sure no one intervened they saw me looking which meant I knew. I told the girl I was okay and I just wanted to keep dancing so left and was fine for about 10 minutes. Then I tripped myself into think that everyone wearing a black shirt was in on their scheme. I went back to the guy I gave the acid to but I convinced myself he was in on it too. I looked around and I thought everyone in the in the club was out to get me. It was the first time in my life I didn't feel safe. I wanted to leave but security was by the exits and since they were wearing black shirts I thought they were in on it too. I called my sister to get me and tried to stall until she got there. For the next 30 minutes I paced around freaking out thinking everyone wanted to kill me cause I knew and if I tried to leave I was dead. It was 2 am and the club was closing. Security was kicking everyone out and felt like I could no longer hide. By the exit the promoter girl went up to me and hugged me, she could tell I was scared. My heart started pound so fast cause I felt like there was no escape and now she got me. I called my sister and put her on speaker so no one would try anything. We made outside and I ran to the other side of the street to get away and I saw my sister pulling up and I felt relieved. When I got in her car though I even convinced myself it wasn't her and sometime disguised like her out to get me but she later calmed me down. I wanted to tell her how traumatized I was but I was scared that if I told her then she would know and therefore be involved. I thought they'd be out to get her too so I stayed silent. For the next 12 hours all I could do is replay that night and every me memory just got worse and worse. I convinced myself all the friends I made were just setting me up. I was deathly afraid that me giving that guy a tab set myself up and the picture they took off us was evidence and that the government had my picture now. I feared I would be killed or arrested. There was no way to get away. 
I couldn't watch TV or be on my phone cause I thought everything was a sign. I just rocked on the ground like a crackhead being scared for dear life until I finally fell asleep about 18 hours after the trip started. When it wore off my sister said she should never do acid again after that and I think she's right. That was such a traumatizing night and it was all in my head. I hate that I will likely never do acid again. TLDR, you're either in the game or you're out of the game permanently. Thank you guys for watching until the end I hope you enjoyed this trip report and I hope to see you in the next one.